Hi YouTube, I'm going to be making a robot in this video and it's from the movie Robocop. This is called an ED-209 or an Enforcement Droid Series 209. Um, I'm going to be making it out of wood to start with, like a wooden framework. So you can see all these scraps and bits and bobs that I've got here. Um, and then I'm going to be covering it with Milliput, which is a two-part putty. And then I'm going to paint it all afterwards. But in this video, this is part one. This is just going to be the making of the framework and then the covering it with Milliput. This Tamiya craft saw, or Tamiya, I never know how to pronounce it, is the most useful tool for this first stage with chopping up all the bits of wood. I've also got a load of super glue. If you're ever going to buy super glue, rather than buy the little tiny tubes, it's well worth buying these bigger bottles and buy them in bulk. Okay, I've made up this base just out of some old chunks of wood and then a sort of a thin layer of MDF on the top. It's very basic and I'll refine it later, but it just gives me something solid to work on. Right, this is how I started, just with a couple of lengths of wood for the main legs. I've just literally just screwed those onto the base. Um, that's nice and firm. And then I've just made some extra sections for the leg as well. And then... I've put a dowel that goes through the middle of those and then I've just attached that block which has got a nice angle to the front of the um, bottom part of the robot. Next I found a couple of these plastic tubs and I was able to just put a block of wood into each one and screw a hole through it and again you can see I've attached this to a long dowel that goes through a block of wood attached to the original block of wood. So it starts to kind of take shape. I, I know this is very basic at this stage, but it's all things that can be added to. Okay, and then the top, I just had these um, curved bits of wood that I'd cut out from an old project. So I was able to kind of put those down and then just attach these flat sections over the top to create this initial kind of curved shape. Okay, a few more bits added here. You can see I've added more sections to the legs to kind of bulk those out so they're getting a lot thicker at the bottom of the leg and then there's a small kind of squarish cross section bit at the top of the leg as well that kind of extends to the back so this is again very loose and very rough at this stage but it's all just starting to bulk it out um, you can see i've also added extra tubs onto the tubs um, to make them a little bit bigger but those will have to end up being a lot bigger when I add milliput to them. Um, on the top section, I've added a lot more just using um, lollipop sticks. And for the feet, I've added those toe sections as well, just cut at various angles. Okay, on this one, similar again, but I've just added to the sides of the top of the head a lot more of those um, lollipop sticks all cut down. And then the gaps I've just filled in with a bit of um, aluminium foil. It's just a really good cheap way of filling up gaps um, to save filling it with milliput. It saves a bit of money. So down on the legs here, you can see I've just added this angle section and again filled that with foil. Um, so it's ready basically to start putting some milliput on. You can see here as well, I've added these bits of dowel just to make these kind of round sections on the legs. Um, that can all be padded out later with milliput as well, but it's just the kind of initial shape. Now usually when I make models they go through stages of looking really bad, and then not so bad, and then a little bit better, and very gradually getting towards good. Um, this one is actually looking quite good in the wooden stage, and I was thinking it'd be quite nice to kind of just cover up the bits that aren't wood with wood. So the whole thing is made of wood, and I think that would have looked quite cool. But anyway, um, my decision was to cover it all with milliput and then obviously refine it and paint it so it looks like the actual robot. So here you can see I've just bulked out a lot of the top with some aluminium foil just to give it a more kind of domed look. And then I started covering it with milliput. And um, this looks very rough at this stage, but it will all be refined with a lot of sandpapering and things later on, um, like I've started to do here. So you can see you end up with a lot of dust from this. So it's worth having a hoover around so you can keep every so often hoovering up a load of the dust. You can see I've covered up the legs and everything, all the bits of wood covered with milliput. 
but at this stage it's very lumpy very rough looking because I basically just put a, a layer that's probably three four millimeters of milliput over everything uh, just to cover it and then it will be refined with the sandpapering um, the only thing with the sandpapering is it does take a long time but you end up with a really nice smooth finish at the end of it and it will be nice to paint at that stage for a lot of the flat sections where you want to get kind of sharp edges on it it's really worth taking a block of wood and wrapping your sandpaper around it um, that way you know when you're sanding you're sanding nice and flat and it gets rid of all those lumps and smooths it all in ready for painting right you can see the top section has become a lot smoother now from all the sanding starting to look a lot more refined the nice thing with this technique is as you're smoothing if you end up finding any little holes and things you can just simply add a bit more milliput into the little holes smooth it over and then sand it again um, so it's one of those stages where you add a bit you take away a bit you can see on these gun sections here I've added these cone shapes at the front and then I've kind of thickened them up as well at the front I've got these sections that I've put on to add the kind of hole in the front of his head I'll actually add a jaw section in later as well um, on the legs here you can see with the smoothing with the sandpaper it's made it very flat and then I've ended up getting sort of a sharper edge down the leg not on this top bit this still needs to be done um, and you can see it's really rough looking so I've ended up with a lot of sections that still need to be sanded and all the sanding takes so long like I could probably do with one of those little mouse sanders that are electric but I'm not I'm doing this all by hand so it's ended up taking me a really long time it's already taken me far far longer than it took me to make Bonnie the rabbit fairly recently okay you can see this is with the extra tiny sections put on here look um, so all of these bits all made separately and then kind of stuck on there's a bit of dowel that goes through to make it really nice and firm in the gun sections here I've added these extra block parts that looks quite nice that'll look good painted as well again much more smoothing done on those gun barrel sections as well um, this is with the lower jaw stuck on and there's all milliput that was kind of super glued on first and then milliput put on as well to strengthen it all um, and that'll look good painted too so it's starting to look a lot more refined but there's so much more to do on it much more sanding much more kind of details to add and obviously then I've got to paint it as well I've been making all these extra little rectangular sections because they're really useful for just adding detail later on okay this video is just part one if you want to see all the painting stages and see this finished check out part two I'll add a link at the end of this one thanks to Milliput for sponsoring this channel thanks you all for watching uh, check out other videos that I've made of other creatures and things from movies and hit subscribe to see anything that I post up in the future thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video